Hi everyone, today I have some exciting news for you all and I thought I would vlog today because you know when there's something exciting going on I do like to film. So basically I contacted this bunny rescue, well they're not just a bunny rescue, they also have like guinea pigs and other rodents but they're mainly like based around bunnies I think because they are probably one of the most neglected pets I would have imagined, especially for our country. So anyway, I emailed them a couple of days ago, or maybe a bit longer than that. Um, yeah, it was like earlier on this week, I contacted them asking about rabbit accommodation and there's an airplane going past. Why is there always something when I'm trying to film? It's so annoying. We'll just have to wait for that to go past. Okay, so they got back to me and I was basically just asking about rabbit accommodation, what's the best thing to house them in, as I knew they had a lot of experience. On their website they had loads of good examples, so I was just asking about what in their opinion would be best for the bunnies we'll be getting. And then they were suggesting loads of great websites and everything, and that was so helpful. It was lovely of them to get back to me and spend all the time linking everything. It was so nice and also very helpful. So I have a bit of a better idea of what sort of accommodation I'll be looking at, but I will get back to that later. Um, but for now, I'm going to tell you what's happening today. So we're going to be visiting two bunnies, and they are they came to this Camp Nibble rescue, but they have been in foster care because I'm guessing when a rescue doesn't really have enough premises or something or maybe if they just don't have the time to care for all the rabbits then they will go into foster care so I'm not sure what the reasoning behind that is but they're in foster care and the foster care where they are at that's actually closer to um, us than travelling all the way to the rescue so that's really good. Um, so I'm very excited to meet them. They are two lovely lion head rabbits. They are so, so gorgeous. There's like a black one and a white one and they are both so, so adorable, honestly. And um, their names are Piper and Bigwig. They're so, so cute. And the personalities sound perfect for me because they, I think they are, one of them's very outgoing and the other one's very shy. So I'm very happy to work with that and get them to be as comfortable as they can around me. So this is if I do get them, which hopefully I will because I really have my eyes set on them too. And they just seem gorgeous. So yeah, a male and female pair. And that was what I was after. So I was very happy to see them on the website and hopefully all be good. So we're going at around 11am today. So then I get to see them and hopefully I will get a few sneaky clips of them on my phone because I don't think I bring my camera with me. I will just talk to you a bit more about the accommodation though and I'm going to shut the door because it's freezing. So we have a better idea of what sort of accommodation we're looking for at the minute and I I think the lady suggested this place called Rydale, is it pet housing or something? They do loads of amazing rabbit and other animal enclosures and I was so inspired by this so I did show you on the other vlog but it was on my um, phone and the quality wasn't great so I'm going to talk to you more about it. So it's basically this, it's a rabbit shed joined on to an aviary type thing but it's all covered and it looks amazing. Then we're left with this dead end down here but I had an idea of making this into a digging area and then we could bury some mesh down underneath the soil and then it would be a perfect digging area. So that if we could make it all safe and enclosed, that'd be amazing. Okay, so I thought I would show you the website which they're on and show you a bit more about them and the pictures of them because I just really want to show you them and they're so adorable. So I will show you on my laptop. So it's really interesting. It says that um, they have both joined us separately as strays, which I find really interesting that they were both found as strays. Um, Piper lived in some pipes in a field um, I'm guessing that's where they got the name from, for at least three months before being successfully caught and brought to safety. And they're both small slash medium sized lion head crosses in good health. These are both young adults estimated to be around one to two years old. Both rabbits are energetic and great fun to watch, however they are not especially keen on being handled, which I'm absolutely fine with to be honest because I'm not after bunnies which I can cuddle, I just want to enjoy them and watch them in their natural environment and as long as they can trust me and I can hand feed them and stuff then that's all I'm really wanting to achieve. I also wanted to tell you about my new website, well it's not really my new website, I just made some really like big changes to my old blog, so I'm not really focusing on a blog anymore because you guys know how bad I am at blog posts and I upload like, upload is that the right word? I put on a new blog post like maybe every, oh, I don't even know, like it's really bad, I just, <laughs> I can't be bothered most of the time but I really want to get back into it because, I don't know. So um, 
I have made some really big changes, made it into more of a care guide website, so I've changed the links and everything, so if you use the old link it won't get you to the website. I've relinked it on my YouTube page and I will also link it down in the description so you can go and see it. But I wanted to show you a bit of what's on the new website. So if we go on to here, it's loading. So here it is, and then this is like the home page. So I just wanted to like give you a little tour of how to use it and everything because I haven't really said anything about it. I'm still in the progress of working with it and there's some pages which are on here which haven't been, they haven't got anything on them yet but um, I just, I was too excited to um, wait so I've published it now and then I will make the changes and hopefully it will all be completed in the next few weeks. So it says pet care information, information about guinea pigs, rabbits, gerbils and hamsters. So then there's like a picture of guinea pigs here, then it says care guide so you can like hover over that and click on it and it'll take you to the care guide. So I'll just use this as an example. Then I've got like a table of other things I do, some care videos you can go and watch. If we go back, then I have all these sections here, so it's on companionship, accommodation, enrichment and diet. So most of these are done I think for the guinea pigs. So it's just like articles about um, each one of those topics. I think the only thing I haven't done is the enrichment one. I'm still working on that. Then we've got the bunnies which is coming soon. So obviously there's nothing on these pages. It just comes up with... What's it come up with? Oh no, that links to the guinea pig one. I think I've done that wrong. <laughs> anyway, so then when you go to the rabbits page anyway... It just says come in soon, there's nothing on there. But then on the gerbils I've done most of the things on there and then I've done, I think I just did the habitat and the care guide for the hamster one. There's a little bit about me there and then my blog. I updated this yesterday so you can go and check out my new blog post if you want to. So it's about all the guinea pig accommodation I've ever had and it just shows you all of the different housing things we've had since the start. So we started off with something that small and then just shows the progression we made really. So if you're interested, um, please check it out and also comment. So we're on our way now to go and see the bunnies and I think we've got about 10 minutes left of travelling so we're nearly there which is really exciting. Hopefully I'll be able to get some clips of them on my phone when we get there then you can see them. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, it's looking out the window. They've got beautiful big eyes, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. It's good. Yeah, why can't I go out there? They're so cute. Yeah, they've got a good cushioned window seat there, haven't they? <laughs> He seems really shy, doesn't he? Just yeah. been to see the bunnies and they were super cute and I will definitely be considering getting those two because I thought they were like perfect for me. And we're now just going to a tea rooms to have some lunch and I think I will talk a bit more about the bunnies once I've been there. So just got back from going to see the bunnies and they are so lovely. Mm -hmm. I will definitely be um, adopting them too because I think they are just so perfect for what I was looking for and they had like a, a children's playhouse join on to an outdoor area and that just seems so much better because really I don't, I really liked some things that I've seen online however they just seem very expensive and if there's a better alternative that's much cheaper it will obviously be better for us and then also if I'm looking to inspire more people then surely it's better to do something more affordable because not everyone is going to be able to afford like some really expensive rabbit run and it, surely it's just better to do that. So we're going to go to, I showed in my last vlog when we went to go look at all the rabbit accommodation things and they have loads of different sheds and everything so I will take you along with me and see what we go and see and we may be going somewhere else as well so I will keep you updated. It's quite nice this one. 
the right sort of shape though. That's a nice playhouse. Yeah. Pure size, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that's nice. You've got your bit up here as well. It'd be cool if they could use that, wouldn't it? Would, wouldn't Something it? like that. You'd, you'd need like a massive ramp though. And then they go up to that bit up there. And then look out the window. <laughs> that would be so cool. You want opening windows, though, wouldn't you? Because again, you're not going to get ventilation in it in the mm. summer. Should we look at these ones down here? Oh my god. Wow. It's a massive oh. That is huge. I'm quite scared of them. Oh, I don't want to drop my phone. Ah. They've got so many. That one's really low. Oh, that's cool. It's got a little veranda. Is it a veranda? Too small. <laughs> Too small. These are all to lodge. Too high enough. That is very small. Well, I can sort. Oh no, not Cob a bad size. I just stood in a cobweb. It's good height. But I like the window thing though. We've now come back home. So, out of all of the things that we saw, the last clip, which was of this playhouse, that is the one we're most likely to get. It just seems to be perfect and exactly what we're looking for. Then we have the idea of attaching a outdoor sort of run thing onto that to give them more space and I think they would have permanent access to that. I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on the gerbil setup because a few of you have been asking me about um, how the setup's going and everything as this is completely new to anything they've had before. It's going so well as you can see they love the digging area and two of them are in there right now. I think the tunnel's actually fallen over it was meant to go up like that. There we go. So yeah, it's been working really well. They've dug tunnels in it, they have made a little burrow underneath so they're actually sleeping under there at the minute. They might demonstrate the tunnel if, <laughs> if they're gonna be good models today. Hello. Oh you might see one pop out. Oh hello hazelnut. You're so cute. How adorable. So yeah, the setup's going really well. The sandy area is working great too. They love it. So yeah, it's all around been very good. And I'm so happy with this area, especially as... Oh, is he carrying some nesting material? Who's that? You chew... No wonder the tunnel falls over, because you just chew it. <laughs> and they've also got a little house down there as well. So yeah, it's all good. Oh no, is he digging on top of your head? I have an escaping gerbil and I'm not sure what to do because I've got one hand on the lid and my other hand on the camera. Probably should put the camera down. Okay, come on. There we go. I've just finished cleaning out the guinea pigs and all of them are doing well. I thought I would give you a little bit of an update on Panda and she is just there. So. I think in my last vlog I said how she was becoming very aggressive to the others and constantly like humping them and stuff and being generally very dominant. Um, so this was very persistent and it was just not stopping. Yes, I'm talking about you, Anta. But all of a sudden it stopped and there's been nothing for probably a week now, maybe a bit longer. It's just amazing how much progress she's made and I don't know, I was getting quite worried because I thought it would be like a hormonal problem or something. Um, so I will keep monitoring that and if it happens again then we will take it to the vets. But so far things are looking a lot better. Hello cutie. Oh my god you're so cute. Oh. So that's really good news and I'm so happy that Everything has stopped now and they're so much more calmer now, which is great. So they're just really relaxed right now, <laughs> eating all the nuggets and the hay. Oh, Grammy looks so smiley. Bless him. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to get our bunnies. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye guys.